The SAS is the most elite of the special forces in the world. They are not people who go out and advertise. They keep it inside. They don't want anybody to know about them. Taylor Hackford, Film Director In the forward holding area, I talked to members of the assault team and found the atmosphere typical of the SAS immediately before an operation. There was no sense of overexcitement or tension. Rather, an air of professionalism and quiet confidence prevailed. These men had been superbly trained, and they had so often practiced the kind of tasks they were about to carry out that it had become an almost everyday event. This is not to say that they lacked courage or imagination. On the contrary, they knew full well that the terrorists were heavily armed and that the building could be wired with explosives and might go up as they broke in. They simply accepted the risks and carried on. General Sir Peter de la Belliere, speaking about the Operation Nimrod. You are highly trained. You are well motivated. You are working with a good team of lads. The job is well planned. There is nothing to worry about. All we were waiting for was the start time. We were just waiting for that magic word. Stand by. Stand by. Go. No problems. No worries. John McAllisey, ex-SAS, speaking about the Operation Nimrod. Ready. Go. Torches hit the guy. Couple of rounds. Job done. John McAllisey, speaking about the Operation Nimrod. Go, go, go! Get it at the rear! The voice was screaming in my ear. The eight call signs rose to their feet as one, and then we were sweeping in through the splintered door. All feelings of doubt and fear had now disappeared. I was blasted. The adrenaline was bursting through my bloodstream. Fearsome. I got a fearsome rush. The best one of my life. I had the heavy body armor on, with high velocity plates front and back. During training, it weighs a ton. Now, it felt like a t-shirt. Search and destroy. Pete Winner. XSAS, speaking about the Operation Nimrod. A friend once asked me what qualities were needed for the SAS. I would say to be self-motivated and resilient, to be calm, yet have the ability to smile when it is grim, to be unflappable, be able to react fast and to have an improvise, adapt and overcome mentality. Bear Grylls, XSAS. Above all, I feel a quiet pride that for the rest of my days, I can look at myself in the mirror and know that once upon a time, I was good enough. Good enough to call myself a member of the SAS. Some things don't have a price tag. Bear Grylls. The most powerful form of self-belief comes from believing in something greater than you. Because when you've got purpose, Everything becomes possible. Lewis Pugh, XSAS. Being brave isn't the absence of fear. Being brave is having that fear, but finding a way through it. Bear Grylls. The great thing about the British SAS was that they viewed war the same way the American Special Operations community did. You didn't win by thinking inside the box and following someone else's rules. You turned the box upside down and made your own rules, no matter what the enemy threw at you. Brad Thor, Thriller Novelist It took me over three years to get the beret, and the most enriching part of the experience was getting to know men for whom you would have given your life on the battlefield. It is a big thing to say there are people who are not your family, for whom you would give up your life. But that is how close we became. Lewis Pugh, describing his time in the British SAS. When you're going through hell, keep going. Bear Grylls. Never plan for victory and defeat in your mind at the same time. Lewis Pugh. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary 
is so often just simply that little word, extra. Bear Grylls. Stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things seem the worst that you must not quit. Bear Grylls. Sometimes the moments that challenge us the most define us. Lewis Pugh. There is nothing more powerful than the made up mind. Lewis Pugh. The more we know, the easier it is to survive. Knowledge dispels fear. John Weissman, ex SAS. SAS Survival Handbook the ultimate guide to surviving anywhere. Pain is temporary. Quitting lasts forever. Bear Grylls. There's a tyranny in perfection. Just do things to the very best of your ability, then move on. Lewis Pugh. Keep focused on the step in front of you. Nothing else. Bear Grylls. Thoughts alone won't make extraordinary things happen. But nothing ever happens if you don't visualize it first. Lewis Pugh. When I can't decide which path to take, I have a meeting with a 75-year-old me. That person usually knows what to do. Lewis Pugh. If you have a passion, follow it. It's the best barometer of what you will be good at. And choose a career that you enjoy. The extra money of a job you detest isn't worth it. Lewis Pugh The line between life or death is determined by what we are willing to do. Bear Grylls Anybody who says he's not scared is either a liar or mentally deficient. Andy McNabb, ex-SAS. To do anything worthwhile, you will face periods of grinding doubt and fear. Lewis Pugh. The trick is to make fear your friend. Fear forces you to prepare more rigorously and see potential problems more quickly. Lewis Pugh. Never depend on those luck moments. They are gifts, but instead, always build your own backup plan. Bear Grylls. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity, which should never be crossed. Lewis Pugh. Too little confidence and you're unable to act. Too much confidence and you're unable to hear. Lewis Pugh. Life is an adventure that is best lived boldly. Bear Grylls. Our achievements are generally limited only by the beliefs we impose on ourselves. Bear Grylls. Better to live a day on your feet than a lifetime on your knees. Andy McNabb, ex SAS. Red Notice. Ordinary won't change the world. Lewis Pugh. Life doesn't reward the naturally clever or strong, but those who can learn to fight and work hard and never quit. Bear Grylls. If you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. Bear Grylls. Sometimes we set boundaries for ourselves in life, or even worse, we allow others to do so. In many cases, these boundaries are just in our mind and need to be pushed away. Lewis Pugh. But one thing I know for sure, it is only by doing what we fear that we can ever truly learn to be brave. Bear Grylls. It is only when you really step out of your comfort zone that you grow. Bear Grylls. 
Very few things which are really worth achieving come easily. Sometimes they do, but most of the time, you really have to work hard and cleverly. Lewis Pugh There is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. John Weisman, XSAS, SAS Survival Handbook, The Ultimate Guide to Surviving Anywhere. Don't look for other people to validate your dreams. If it feels right, just go for it. Lewis Pugh Don't listen to the dream stealers. Bear Grylls Take every chance you get in life, because some things only happen once. Bear Grylls Once a job it has begun, do not stop until it's done. Whether it is big or small, do it well or not at all. Bear Grylls Eating any of these things, go test calls or what have you, isn't going to be nice, but you get into that zone, you become focused and you do what you need to do. It's all about one thing, coming home in one piece. Bear Grylls Our dreams are just wishes if we never follow them through with action. And in life, you have got to be able to light your own fire. Bear Grylls Change the way you use your time and you change your life. Bear Grylls <laughs>